From the Charles River to Tokyo, rower Hallie Smith is competing for Team USA in this summer's Paralympics. The Smith College graduate began competing internationally in 2017. That's when she met her then teammate and now coach Jenny Sitchell. The pair has been working hard for months, but it hasn't been easy. Anna Redis Rodriguez sat down with Smith and Sitchell ahead of the Olympic Games. Rower Hallie Smith and coach Jenny Sitchell, thank you so much for joining us here on CBSN Boston. Congratulations to you both. Let's start with Hallie. What's your training been like over the last year, knowing you know, you've had some extra time to get ready? It's been a weird last year for training. I am immunocompromised, so to be really careful, I wasn't on the water in 2020 because we didn't want me around a lot of people. So I was training all indoors on the rowing machine, the ERG. And it was definitely harder than training on the water. It's not as fun, but uh, it's still been, you know, something to look forward to with the Paralympics. So it was still nice to be able to push myself. Just sometimes hard to get the motivation when you're just sitting in your apartment on the erg rather than going out on the Charles River. I know. I mean, I can't imagine. I know that when I'm on the machine, it's hard. Rowing is a very challenging sport. Tell us about your background. When did you start? We know you're a graduate of Smith College. Did you compete there? I did not compete at Smith. I started rowing a little after I graduated college. So I became disabled in college. And then when I graduated, I moved back home to Washington, D.C. and was looking into para athletic, para sports. And I was just going to these free exercise classes at the National Rehab Hospital where someone saw me said, oh, you look strong, come try rowing. <laughs> and I did and I got hooked. It was something that I was good at and it was fun. I had teammates. So I kind of went in very quickly and I went all in. I went from nothing to multiple practices a week all on the machine uh, at the time because it was January, but yeah, it was a really great way to get, you know, used to my disabled body and to, uh, like, have more friends post-college because I didn't really know as many people in D.C. at that point. And look at you now. You are representing Team USA in the Paralympic Games. That is just amazing. What are you looking forward to the most about Tokyo? Oh my gosh, I hadn't even, it's still sinking in that I'm going to Tokyo. I was uh, watching some videos of former or of past Paralympics the other night and I sat there and I was like, I'm going to the same Paralympic games as these athletes. Oh my goodness. So I'm really looking forward to the competition, but outside of my own competition, I'm excited that I'll get to see other events and see some amazing athletes. Now, Coach, you were a part of a team that won a silver medal in Rio. What has that shift been like from athlete to coach? It has definitely been a little bit strange and quite difficult, actually, because you put your all into something and then to suddenly switch over to a totally sort of different role um, and say like, OK, well, I'm done competing, but I'm ready to join as a coach now. Um, it took, I mean, as of probably last fall, I was still planning on trying out for the games um, this year. And then it really like kind of dawned on me that I really wanted to uh, get in, uh, into the coaching side of things. Um, and somehow Hallie and I got connected and it worked out. So it's been like an easy transition, but also extremely difficult and like mentally consuming. <laughs> so. Well, you got her to make the team. So your job <laughs> is halfway there. You know how much hard work goes into making Team USA. Tell us about the process and how proud you are of Hallie. 
Oh my gosh. I mean, just from, I mean, I've seen, so I've actually known Hallie since she started competing internationally in 2017. And we in fact were roommates at that point um, at the world championships. So we became good friends there, but then just to see her evolve over the years um, and come back from being indoors 24 seven during the pandemic to uh, working uh, everything out on the water um, has just been amazing to see the progress. Um, and I'm like so excited to see what she can do at the games. Allie Smith and Coach Jenny Sitchell, thank you so much for your time, and we wish you both the best of luck. Thank you so much. The Paralympic Games begin August 24th. Good luck to Hallie and Jenny.